So here's a little update on the turkey chicks. We had kept these three from the chicks that we had hatched out and then we had to take away the chicks that the hens were raising up themselves and there was three of them. But you can see those two are smaller and there's only two of them because one did not make it, but they are growing really fast and they're feathering out and it is time for them to go outside, but we need to figure out what we're going to do with them outside to keep them safe. But we also have a whole lot of chicks inside that need to come out into this brooder. And then we have all of these chicks in here in our inside brooder that is in our bathroom. And I actually, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a few in here that are bigger. And those are the ones that had hatched outside under, those are the Bielefelders that had hatched outside via the hens. And there was five of them. And then for whatever reason, uh, one of them died. No idea why. There's two moms in there and five chicks and plenty of food and water. Not really sure what happened to her, but one of them died, so I didn't want to risk any more dying. And so I just took them away. So most of what's in here are Bielefelders. And we have gotten more males than females. I think we're currently at eight males and five females. Then our black ones with the white on their head. Those are barred mixes. There's a dark chipmunk one back there that is a Wyandot, a Rick Jr. Wyandot mix. And then this front black one here that is a wine dot mixed with a black copper moran is what i believe that's a cocoa baby and then i think everybody else i think that's everybody that's in here i think we got two from the front block so two from two of rick's offspring then four i think four or five of the bard mixes, and then everybody else is a Bielefelder. So super, super excited about the hatch rate of the Bielefelder. He is apparently very fertile, and those eggs were very good, and we still have one that's about to hatch. Not super thrilled with the success of Rick or our bard but this was just our first run so we'll have to see what happens in the future i guess and then these are the last of the bielefelder eggs in here and i think only one of these is actually going to hatch i didn't see any movement in the other three which is sad because they look fully formed to me but for whatever reason they stopped developing and then we have eight days left on my guinea eggs one thing that i am certain about is that i have learned through this process of hatching the turkeys through the chickens um, is that i do not like having the hens hatch out chicks it's too unpredictable, it's not controllable, and things happen in nature. And in nature, moms are really cruel <laughs> and they abandon chicks, they abandon their nests, and there's a lot of waste. So moving forward, we are going to be taking all eggs from all hens, um, 
and if we decide to put them in an incubator, then that is our choice, but we are not letting the natural thing happen anymore because the amount of eggs that went to waste in this process made me sick. So that is what we're going to do moving forward from here. And speaking of, our turkeys have decided to start laying again and they only lay two or three times a year. So our turkeys, we threw away probably <sighs> 20 eggs, I wanna say. And I that, that really made me sick to my stomach. So um, I am collecting these eggs. The other day I found four of them in their little hut and then since I took them out of the IBC tote that I was using as their like nesting area, when I found them in there the other day, they have decided to lay them outside in one of the corners of their pens. And uh, so they're getting a little dirty, but we are going to be incubating the turkeys again once I get a good clutch of eggs. I'm hoping for two dozen and that will be fun and much more controllable and hopefully much more fruitful. Thank you guys for stopping by today and joining in on our journey here at Burbones Living. We'll catch you on the next one.